All right, my dough is done rising. And I'm gonna show you how I do the uh, initial pre-shaping. I uh, just got my, washed my hands, but I just realized I need to flour this, so that's not gonna be good. Or wet. Just a little bit of flour. And we don't want to deflate the dough, so you have to kind of be gentle with it at this point. It'll deflate a little bit on its own, but I'm just trying to avoid that. So first, uh, this is for two lobes, so I'm going to cut it in half. And what I do is just kind of, you know, make a little rectangle out of it. And again, this is a, something where there's a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, people have their own preference. Um, I just kind of fold it up a little bit. This pre-shaping isn't that important as far as what the final shape is. You're just kind of giving it the idea of being in a ball shape um, and building a little bit of tension. So easiest way is to just uh, fold it in thirds. And then uh, just give it a turn, fold it in thirds again, and you kind of end up with a little um, loaf shaped thing. Set it with the seam side down, I guess you would call it. Do that for the other one. Um, some people do a sort of um, like stitching up sort of thing like this. And then you can kind of roll that up. a little bit bigger than the other one and just uh, flour it a little bit and you can cover it with a towel or um, some plastic wrap um, just whatever let it set for 20 or 30 minutes